Thank you for purchasing the new M2 tile wet saw from Oricon. Upon opening the M2 carton, you'll find the main water tray and rear splash guard. Further is the rest of the M2. Your M2 saw manual, continuous rim diamond blade, side splash guard, cutting table extensions, and the rest of the saw. The very bottom of the carton houses the one piece folding work stand. Let's start with that. Simply remove the securing pins from both sides. Swing over the top in place and resecure the pins in place. Now, let's begin the overall saw assembly. Place the main water tray in place, nestling it into the work stand. Then, place the main saw frame base components securely within the water tray. For the main cutting head component, remove the washer and bolt from the mounting post. Insert the cutting head component into the frame's mounting post shaft and resecure it with the washer and bolt, making sure to tighten it with a wrench. Next, thread the cutting table extension bolts. These table extensions provide stability for cutting larger tile pieces. The pre-molded angled channels on the extensions provide a quick guide for an exact 45 degree angled cut. Line up the table edges and secure in place with the bolts, two per extension. Repeat this process for each extension piece. Now, it's time to move on to the blade housing assembly. Unscrew the blade guard bolt, opening the housing completely. Remove the blade arbor post washer. Attach your blade, any blade type between 6 and 10 inches, keeping in mind the arbor capacity of 5 eighths. Reattach the washer and bolt securely with the provided universal wrench. Close the housing door, securing it with the bolt by hand. This almost completes the overall saw assembly. One of the last important items is to install the water pump. Attach the pump's power supply to the main motor switch box. Connect the water feed hose and open the valve horizontally. Drop the pump securely in place into the water tray molded cradle. Another feature of your M2 saw is its chop cutting ability by loosening the cutting head knob. When resetting, make sure to realign the pinhole marker and retighten the knob. This resets the parallel cut setting. Another feature is the M2's 45 degree mitering ability. Loosen the miter wing bolt and miter lever bolt. Tilt the cutting head a full 45 degrees and retighten both the lever and wing bolt. There's even an onboard place for your universal wrench and Allen wrench. These tools come in handy when adjusting the next feature, the cutting head's forward adjustment. Loosen the two black handle bolts by lifting, lowering, and turning clockwise. This releases the cutting head block from the frame, letting you move it forward for those smaller cutting jobs. Always remember to secure your setting by locking back in place. Of course, before any job, assemble your splash trays. First the side tray, then the back tray. Before you actually start cutting, make sure to fill the water tray with enough water to at least submerge the water pump breather housing. Turn on your saw and make sure everything is running smoothly and water is flowing freely. Now you're good to go. Making straight cuts. Miter cuts. When performing any cut, it's okay to cut right through the table's rubber stopper, as this maximizes your cutting length. 
diagonal cuts. Notice the positioning of the tile corner right at the table corner mark. Always remember to cut right through the rubber stopper. Again, this maximizes your cutting length capacity. Chop cuts using the forward top handle of the cutting head. When cutting masonry or stone, you'll have to use an appropriately rimmed blade, such as a turbo rim. If you're cutting porcelain, you'll need to use a porcelain grade diamond blade, such as a cheetah type. When you're done, always empty the soiled water through the drain plug built into the lower water tray. And clean off your saw with a moist rag. The rear yellow specification label is an important reminder to use the correct power cord, length and gauge, for the power voltage available. Your saw will not function properly if operated outside these specified parameters. With proper care and maintenance, your M2 tile wet saw will give you years of service. You may also visit www.orcon.com for more information. Thank you for buying Orcon products.